Hello and welcome back to another Tool Tech Tuesday with GEMS. I'll be showing you the GEMS Piston Jet Tester, part number 772, and I'll test a twin cam and M8 piston jet. I'll explain how piston jets work, why they're there, and if not functioning properly, how they can contribute to sumping and even engine failure, so stay tuned. Over 80% of our views come from people not subscribed to the channel. We have a ton of great content coming, including an engine teardown marathon, so if you don't want to miss it, be sure to subscribe. Click the bell and select all notifications so that you won't miss a single video. Also, if you're interested in any of the products or tools you see in these videos, check out our website at baxtersgarage.com or give us a call. I'll leave a link in the video description. Piston jets were first introduced in the twin cam and have carried over to the M8. They're a cast of aluminum nozzle with a little ball and spring on the inside and it acts like a check valve. Oil is fed through the cam plate, then through the engine case to the lifter bores and finally to the piston jet which sprays oil on the bottom of the piston. Now their purpose is to help cool the piston due to leaner fuel mixtures being used in later model engines, but if they leak at the seal on the back or, or the check valve doesn't function properly, they can also be a source of a lot of problems, including starving oil to the top end, noisy lift, lifters at idle, and also sumping. Now, if you haven't seen our M8 engine teardown videos for Steven, after this video, I would like to strongly encourage you to watch those videos because this one little piston oiler was the cause of what became a severe sumping issue and led to his engine failure. Now, for the most part, the twin cam piston jets functioned quite well with very few issues. However, many of you have most likely heard of the problems the early M8 engines had with the screws being too long, preventing the gasket from sealing. Oil would then pour into the crankcase and the oil pumps just couldn't keep up. Now, I'm beginning to see common issues where the oilers on the M8s aren't functioning properly. The check valve should remain closed until oil pressure reaches around 13 PSI and then stay open above that. The reason they're designed to work only above 13 to 15 PSI is so that at idle speeds, too much oil isn't being sprayed into the crankcase. And also, since they get oil after the lifter bores, it can help keep the lifters pumped up when the pressure is at its lowest, which being at idle. Now, that wasn't the case with Steven's engine. This oiler was spraying constantly, which led to the issue you'll see when you watch those other videos. Again, I'll leave a link in the description at the end so you can watch them. So now let's test a twin cam and then Stevens M8 piston jets. I found the easiest way to use the tools to install it in a vise with a set of soft jaws. You always want to make sure the inside of the tool is clean. There are two pipe plugs in here so you can flush it out with solvent if you like. You can test with both air and oil. For this particular video, I'm just going to test it with air. I have tested these oilers with oil as well and got the exact same results. You just want to make sure the inside of this is clean. So if you're choosing to test it with oil so you can actually see the spray pattern, you'd remove this pipe plug here, fill this with oil, reinstall the pipe plug. Okay, so let's start at first. We're going to test a twin cam oiler and see how it performs. Now, if this is a good oiler, what we should see on our gauge here is somewhere around 13 PSI and up. Uh, it should hold pressure. And then when it hits about 13 PSI, we'll hear it. And I'll show you a neat little trick where you can see it uh, when the, the valve starts to open up and then be at, you know, 15 and above. So let's put this in now of course i've put on a new o-ring we'll start with making sure our regulators closed all the way we'll connect an airline and you shouldn't hear any air flowing and we don't perfect so we've got a new o-ring on this twin cam oiler and we'll just install it on top of the tester Once it's installed, let's open up the valve and see if we're holding pressure. There we're at five PSI, let's listen for air, none. 
let's slowly increase that to 10 psi still no air and we begin to hear air right at 13 psi right there 14 and 15 psi so now let's back it back down and we'll test it one more time we're at 5 psi we increase it to 10 and 12 is where we start to hear airflow and that's at 15 psi if you need a visual and you're testing with air you can take a small amount of grease on your finger and swipe it over the oil port and when you start getting flow you'll see the grease be displaced from the hole and there we go right at 12 psi all right so this piston oiler checks out good now let's test the oiler out of Stevens M8 of course we're going to install this with a new gasket Now let's see if, let's listen closely and see when we start hearing airflow. We're only at six PSI. Now let's continue. It's spraying all on at 10 PSI and then that's 15. Let's try it again. Put a small amount of grease on the port and test it again. Right there, if you saw the, the grease displace, and you can slightly hear it if you listen closely, I'm only at 2 PSI at this point right here. Only 2 PSI, it started spraying. back it back off 2 psi we can see the grease displaced that's at 2 and it's spraying at 5 6 10 all the way up to 15 so there is no question whatsoever that this piston oiler is defective and that it was spraying constantly even while at an idle overtaxing the oiling system and quite frankly the oil pump could just not keep up with that now let's take this back off and i'll show you a more of a close-up of what the inside of the oilers look like you can see a close-up here on the inside there's just a small ball in there with a spring on the bottom all right and the twin cam one is basically exactly the same you can see the small ball inside there uh, of course this seals with the o-ring where this seals with a gasket as you can see testing piston jets certainly has its value if you're an engine builder this is something that should be checked and this is a tool that should be in your toolbox i'd recommend checking them and replacing the gaskets or the o-rings like on the twin cam on every engine you pull cylinders on it could save you and your customer a lot of headaches down the road this is also an issue not many people think about. So if you're having an engine built, ask your builder to perform this test. On the next Tool Tech Tuesday, you'll be the first to see the new GEMS Cruise Drive Transmission Rebuild Kit soon to be released. We'll tear down and rebuild Jeff's transmission here and show you how to use more tools from GEMS. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Have a good one. Thank you.